Yeah, Hello, everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 52, Round of 16 match between Leet and his Kemri and Mankiz and his Dark Elf. Can you see the chain, guys? In the booth with me is Dimmy G and Jack Bull. Hello. 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 We are up for another Mankiz meat throttling. <laughs> I, I actually hope Mankiz loses because he's picked the single ugliest Dark Elf kit possible. Um, do you think this is the single ugliest ones? No, I don't. I think, think this is the worst Dark Elf kit out. There's not many to choose from, but I, I don't like it. It's, it's an eyesore. Well, I don't hate it, so there you go. Ah, uh, is it because it looks like Gladiator's Gym? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> Subliminally. <laughs> Dark Which elf, elf looks elf. like Jet Four? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the so best thing about Jet is it reminds me of fucking Steve Coogan, you know, and Alan Partridge when he was just going about Jet all the time. <laughs> just, <laughs> so that makes me want to go on about Jet all the time, just because it reminds me of Alan Partridge. <laughs> oh wow, fun. the edgy, the edgy there. No, oh, the Angie. I mean, sure yeah, he wouldn't have picked that up if it weren't for the Angie up. Last mm. skill. So both got a bribe from the kickoff table, but uh, Mankiz was down 50, so he's got a babe. And he's got a really nice team, hasn't he? Loads of blood step. Edge up, guard, edge up, sure hand. Mate, yeah, two edgy five, one with leap. This is curtains for the uh, Kemri. Surely, Jim. Well, the Kemri are very bangy, loads of mighty blow. Tack, two tackle pommers, lovely, lovely, and then a great ball carrier. So it's a pretty, it's you a say, pretty. You say sweep. loads of mighty blow. I see five. Well, that, isn't that a lot? Uh, it's so, less than so half. Jim, what percentage would you put on this game? For yeah, yeah. What's for, it? Uh, man here? <laughs> Probably sixty-two point three. What to the dark elves? Yeah, I'd go seventy. Well, I'd go sixty-two point three. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have failed that dodge. I have a Norfolk streamer now. <laughs> Go shoot some duck tits. <laughs> the fucking goose titties. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it was so funny. Maybe it's just the way. Maybe it's just the way he said goose breasts. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, breasts. he's yeah. He's gonna pom the uh, diving tackle here. Mm. This, uh, oh, he's this could, as well. Lovely juicy hit. This could be a huge equity shift. I'm, I'm mm. not quite sure why he is there. No, that was, yeah, that was a bad hit didn't, to leave uh, on. Didn't, didn't you just say this was curtains for the old Camry there? Uh? I mean, on paper, I would much oh, rather be the Dark paper, Elves. Okay. Oh, on paper, I'd much rather be, awesome. be the Dark Elves. Like, <clears throat> honestly, Camry uh, with the Blitz where I was having strength access and the, t the, the general access. They've got the two tackle pommers, like, yeah, fantastic. Tomb Guardians are only good while they're, um, like, in the game. And, like, obviously, on the Kemri Drive, that's fantastic. But on the Dark Elf Drive, the Tomb Guardians are going to just get dragged all over the pitch. And, uh, like, with the Agi Fives, like, they can walk into cages. And, like, there's no dodge on the, um, the throw rar as well. Uh, so, yeah, I, I still fancy the Dark Elves. I still fancy the Dark Elves. So, I've played this matchup quite a lot of times, actually, Jack Paul, um, believe it or not. For someone who doesn't play Blood Bowl, I've, I've played this matchup <laughs> a lot. You think and, uh, the Tomb Guardians are only good when you field them on the pitch? Well, they're good when they're strong and they're together. And, like, when Tomb Guardians go down, it's a pain in the ass to get them back up and relevant. And uh, like, you look at Mankiz, right? He's completely ignoring the ball. He doesn't care. Like, he's he's just trying to pull the Kemri apart. Like, if 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 the Dark Elves get a two turn, like that's a fantastic. And like, well, I don't know. I don't know quite about this, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, it works. He's got a bribe, right? They, they both they always get the ref. Yeah, they both got bribes. No, why not? Okay. Yeah. So like, look, Dark Elves. I don't want to play Blood Bowl. I'm just gonna pick you apart and. Uh... Let you score, like he won't let him score turn eight. He'll put the pressure on before that. But like the Kemri, mate, Kemri are terrible on offense. Defense, they're pretty good, but against Agi Five, it's going to be a problem. Agi Five to Agi Five as well, by the way, guys. It's not just one Agi Five, and he's got a leap Agi Five as well, just to throw uh, salt into the wound. Hmm. 
And he only gets a push on the Palmer as well, which is sadness. Really sad, yeah. Yeah, huge sadness. I can feel waves of sadness. Morbid sadness. <laughs> Morbid sadness. Morbid yeah. sadness. Not, not lost seven stone sadness. <laughs> <laughs> oh god but Lee, Lee's a good coach he is Mank yeah. is, is a very good coach yeah and um, we'll, we'll see how this one pans out yeah but well, yes I mean if, I can, if you I can gave pan me, out like this <laughs> if, if, well if you gave me if you gave me a pick of both teams at the start of the game I would bite your hands off the Dark Elves it wouldn't even be a consideration it'd be like Dark Elves I mean, I'd think about it for a little bit, and then I'd say Dark Elves, yeah. But, I mean, the two I, Tackle I, Palmers are, like, pretty huge, annoying. Mm. Huge. Huge. Yeah, they're huge. But they, like... Hmm. Like, if he doesn't expose his niggled sidestepper, <laughs> then... Uh, <laughs> then... Oh, huge. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Huge, absolutely huge. Correct, Jim. Correct. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to fill in for Kalon tonight. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this can only end badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what do you think about that one, there, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did we do that again? Hey, what do you think about that one, there, Jim? <laughs> Would you like a bit to be Lucky Charms? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kerlo! Holy hell, Jim, look at him! He missed that friggin' dodge! Ah, oh, you know that was the right dodge to do there, it is, Jim. Oh, God! A little bit of butternut squash right there, eh? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what a disaster! His first was Jack Ball. <laughs> I, I, could do, I could do a really good Jack Ball impression. Oh, go on, brother. I'm not going to do it, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my day. Oh, shit. Imagine getting punished the dumb for skulls. Ducky did that as well, didn't he? Flip me. But it wasn't Wait, really ooh, great. These bangers, mate. These bangers. Like, like you say, overblocking is like the way to win Blood Bowl, but... Ooh. Apparently, it's not, And he's got sometime. 2D. And he gets the pow. Yeah, and this is this is this is it. And the ball pops out. There's an agi five right over there. Right there, yep, under screen, and that looks like. And it's GG. see you later, mate. No one gives a f about ya. Uh, what's the percentages now, Jim? Oh, Ooh, now I don't percentage know. Is like I wouldn't. 87. I wouldn't have picked the, like like for the purists out there who actually care about blood bowl. I wouldn't have picked the ball up there. I would have put the lino out first, mm. and then picked the ball up. Um, just to screen it somewhat. Somewhat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kumquat. So, so if you if you are a purist and you want to play the best blood bowl, I think that might have been a minor mistake. Yeah, I think maybe it's the, this this blitzer here, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right here, maybe but it's here for the blitzer. Here, but at here. the same time, like you can't hate on him for snatching at an opportunity in a chalice game because, course, uh, yeah. yeah. And it was still super now, unlikely that he and now, got away. How useless do the Tomb Guardians uh, look, uh, apart from these blocks here? Yeah, um, Because they're, they're not going to get back in the game, unless he kills that guy, which he does Nothing doesn't. is. Everything gets tagged out, because they're, they're, they're like all yeah. edged too. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, and uh, this is what I was talking about when I said 70-30, and Jim said 63 or whatever he said. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, and, um, oh, you said 64, Jim. I have that written down. Okay, it's almost, yeah. almost like I've played Blood Bowl before, Jim. I mean, almost. to be fair, I, I think I think my analysis was more accurate. <laughs> wow, wow. I, I don't know about that, Jim. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, now, of like course, now it's back to like... a certain Rick Reckless Chalice match. Ooh. I would, I would a hundred percent pick the Dark Elves in this matchup every day of the week. Yeah, but but you would do that if you thought they were fifty one, right? If you thought they were fifty one percent, you would pick them every time, you know. Uh, like that's the thing. You you make I the guess. assessment. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you, when you put it like that, all right, mate. Yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah all right. Um, but no, I mean, now obviously it's like eighty odd percent. I would say for uh, like it's it's pretty. Like, the thing with Blood Bowl is, you know, like, with six is always working and one's always failing, like, the chance of getting back is always 
higher than you'd think, and the chance of dicing somebody's always higher than you'd think. So I really do think, you know, maybe 65% was, was more accurate than 70 for what it's worth, like, you know, which is nothing. But what we got to go back to is the reroll on the uh, Blitz and the, the Greed there, uh, the Greed. It wasn't greed. so much Greed, right? It's just because it was sidestep, so he just thought, he obviously just felt like, you know, he didn't want him sidestepping there and tying the Tomb Guardian and stuff. And... No, no, I'm not having it. It was pure Greed. Maybe it was pure it was... Greed. Yeah, it was just I want to bang, and uh, I mean to be fair, I don't hate it in the sense that I think he has to bang to win because I think the Dark Elves are a thousand times better than his team. But um, yeah, the the rerolls cost him the game, right? Mm, but you know, it's just unlucky, right? Potentially, you know? potentially. And the next turn, the next turn, Mankis has got a hit on the ball, and he rerolls into a power. Well, you know, if he'd rerolled into Dub Skulls and Lee had rerolled into a power, then it's a completely different result. So like, it's just two rolls that have decided yeah, the game, isn't but it? But you're, you're Kemri versus Dark Elves, and it's a little bit different. I, I, like, I know that sounds mental, and I can't <laughs> really explain it, but like. Ooh. And with the two Agi fives, like he could just walk into a cage anyway, really, and and do the same thing. Yep. Is yeah. Now, now this this is exactly what uh, Elite has to do, and he just has to foul every turn and pray. Yep. So there you go. So now it's looking like Mankiz is going to win, but the question is, what will be the butcher's bill? At what cost, Jim? At what mm. cost? Nope. Nope. Oh. Fucking upskirts. Cyanide love their upskirts, don't they? <laughs> and their bum holes. Uh, that's not a skirt, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is not a skirt, Jim. Yeah, it is. It's a kilt. It's a skirt. It's a kilt. That's even worse, Dimmy. <laughs> a skirt by any other what? name. It's a skirt. I'm sorry. Those, those are Egyptian chaps. Um, so it's Jim. a skirt, mate. <laughs> Well, of course they're Egyptian chaps. Uh, like, yeah, they're uh, Egyptian chaps wearing skirts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that chap over there is wearing a skirt. Are they assless chaps, though, Jim? Can we get a check on that? All chaps are assless, aren't they? Like, chaps would look really weird if they, if they had asses on. Wouldn't they? It always, it always makes me, it always makes me chuckle when people say assless chaps. All chaps are assless. It's just, are they pantsless chaps? <laughs> are they pantsless chaps? But um, we can't actually, we can't actually. Unfortunately, we can't rotate the camera to see. The the real know, question, Jim, is: the are they more? Are they morbidly pantless? That's, <laughs> that's the real we can't see that. We can't see the genitalia of the skeletons. Sadly, <laughs> who knows what they've got there? Dangling what the between. Hell? Oh, the that's legs. a belt buckle. I'm like, what the hell is that in the front of the skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> another pow. Another palm. No, he doesn't fall. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. God, what are you playing at, mate? Like, it literally makes no difference. Oh, no, it does. There's two turns of Mankiz. Okay. I don't know. I think as Mankiz, you just uh, you just score, right? Yeah, okay, so it did make a difference. Maybe. Not much of one. Stops him dodging away there and then going and then, like, lobbing over here. In fact, maybe, if, if anything, going following was better. If anything, following was better, because now it gives him a 2 plus out this way. Was if he follows, the only way he can go is through tackle multiple times. It was actually worse. It was actually worse doing what he did. Wow. Oh. Ah. Oh, wow, he got cast as well. Easy. Oh, oh he's regen, though. Regen. Easy regen. Easy regen. Not getting surfed is the difference. Wow, Dadle. 5D chess. Yeah, he just, he just scores. Now that, that was just the wrong, wrong player there by Leap. TB hitch. I mean, if he was doing it to avoid getting surfed, that was the wrong decision. If he thought it was the better, stronger defense, it was, it was a weaker defense. So I think, you know, it was worth giving up the surf 
chance to make a stronger defense. Right, and that's my opinion. There you go. So here we and go. now, now, now we're gonna see a Daco. Well, not obviously now. not now because it's turn <laughs> eight. All right, mate. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> But we are definitely seeing the deck win, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, maybe he did. I mean, uh, yeah, you think he did, yeah, I don't know if he did not. I mean, I can't take anything Daedal says seriously, because he's just a crying goblin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a crying goblin king. Yep. Never, for never forget that Daedal is the god of war. <laughs> oh, is he? he oh, I've got to go back and watch that episode, man. Yeah, he was the I can't believe Jim stabbed me in the face. Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? No. No, Jim. No, I can't remember. I can't remember how I killed you, honestly. Um, like, you were tied up with bolus. I think I just repeatedly stabbed you. In the That's... Or something. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I rolled I... a one. No, I don't think I did kill you. I think I rolled a one. I think I rolled a one. Oh, I can't remember. I've definitely rolled a nat natural one at some point. Like Mr. Donut Man in Wayne's World. Yeah, I was concussed all the time, Jimmy. You would have loved it. I was doing backwards rolls all the time. It was, it was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Somersaults, spinner roonies. It was brilliant. Oh, mate, if you can't do it in D&D, like, like, I, I can't do all the gymnastic stuff. Like, well, well I want to do that when I'm playing fantasy games. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Ah, there you go. I stabbed myself in the hand trying to finish him off. <laughs> a, a double backflip with Pike. I mean, when else are you going to be able to do that in your lifetime? With Dato Quiz singing in the background. <laughs> yeah. had, had the time of my life. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that it makes has sense, to, dude. Has to be with Pike, though. Yeah, of course. Goes without saying that, doesn't it? So to speak. <laughs> the crabs I gave my flatmates were the best crabs you could ever get, okay? <laughs> great, great new sound effects. Referee pulling up on the foul. Mm. It's looking for a sad day for the Kemri. It really is. Mm. Look, throwing the Kemri are a passing ah, team. Fuck! <laughs> they got two quarterbacks, Jim. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's better than most NFL teams. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You know, you know why the uh, Kemri quarterbacks aren't that good? Because they've no got balls, catching mittens on. Oh no, balls. No that's, balls, Jim. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Do the mummies have balls? Like if they if they're all. I mean, who knows what some of their Remember they were all removed during the mummification oh, process. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good well, point. They, they, is what, they removed. To be what, wait, hang on, hang on, hang that. on. I'm actually going to learn something here. That what they remove your testicles when you get mummified. Mm. They remove all major uh, organs. Oh, they suck them out with like hooks or something, isn't it? They, no, you don't need to suck out the testicles with hooks. You know, the brain, the brain gets They're, they're hanging right there for all to see. <laughs> use the mouth to suck out the testicles. <laughs> well, they put their balls in jars. All organs are put in jars. Mm. What, is, is your testicle an organ? Yes. Oh, is it? I thought yes. we only had like five organs. I thought it was like the liver, the kidneys, <laughs> bladder, lungs, and brain. Some wives do that too. <laughs> Dimmy, can you speak to experience on that one, brother? Yes. <laughs> That's five senses, you idiot. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got six senses. Oh, the pancreas. <laughs> oh, yeah, like yeah. The skin. Beautiful, beautiful right there, brother. They surely didn't remove the penis, though, in the mummies, right? Because... Because if you remove the penis, you wouldn't even want to come back, would you? <laughs> what's, what's, the def what's the definition of an organ? I thought it was like the thing they played at church. Hey. Like, literally, literally, you wouldn't even want to come back, would you, at that point? He's yeah, tricky. what is the definition well, the, the of an organ? Not, the goal wasn't to come back, Jim. Yeah. Well, to take him with you into the afterlife and stuff, the, wasn't it? The goal it? was to get to the afterlife, exactly. Mm. 
Oh wow, Thank data you. quiz ruining films for people in chat. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Bruce Willis was dead at the end of Sixth Sense. Yeah, I always, I love saying that still. The fr the funny thing is, it is a spoiler for people again now because it's so old. <laughs> There'll actually be plenty of young people who haven't seen it, so it actually will be a spoiler again, won't it? Absolutely ruined the film for me. Mm. What an asshole. <laughs> I see that people. No. Hey! Oh, the dark elves. Ha! ha! <laughs> I hate it. I honestly hate. It's I hate losing for dark elves. I hate, isn't it? Honestly, I hate losing to dark elves over any other race in Blood Bowl 2 just because of the ha! Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, is it, oh is it as bad as the Bretonian one though? No, no I really love good. Burt's. I absolutely love Burt's. Like, Burt's are like... What, what, no, what exactly is the difference? I mean, one goes like, hurrah, and the other one goes, ah. So, what, I mean... It's because the, the ha is just like so arrogant and toxic and just like, ha! Oh, I've no, it's been... the high elves that go, ha! The, the, the... No, no, the dark elves go the like, ha! The dark elves go, ha! Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. That's even... Hua! Do you know what? It's toxic maxi... Ma ma maxillinity. <laughs> maxillinity? <laughs> it's like, the Dark Elves are the Andrew Tate of the Blood Bowl world. That's what it is. Basically, Dark Elves are Andrew Tate and Blood Bowl 2. And what what about the grunts from the Amazons? Oh, yeah, they're just, they're just like, weird... Yeah. People who sat in a room, not met anyone in their uh, female, like, like not met any women, and probably what they imagine them to sound. You don't, like. you don't think that mm. was a female voice actor for those? Probably not, mate. Not, not like <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of people that sound a lot different from when you meet them. Mm. I wonder. I wonder if they got like if they actually paid. People, or if they just found them from somewhere, you they, know? they probably just like googled them. Like, no, yeah. no, they didn't find anybody. They brought in their friggin' aunts and uncles and were like, All right, here, make a sound. <laughs> oh, they got their arms, go. You see this like 89 year old lady, they wheel her uh, in a wheelchair. Oh, you, you hear that Amazon guy? Uh, yeah, that's friggin'... my aunt. <laughs> yeah, that's my aunt. <laughs> it's somebody's aunt, probably. <laughs> uh, it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that casting call. <laughs> Are you Mate, over I've the been, age of 75 and related to one of our devs? Beautiful, you can come in and do our voiceovers. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Oh, ha! <laughs> they, they got me to do that. Ha! Mm. Here we go, 2DB. The double uh, pass. Does he just score, bang it in, 2-0, win, yeah. probably. For the win. Yeah, I'd bang it in, mate. Yeah, so he didn't dacker, he did, he did the reverse, he did a two turn score. It was two turns well, score. one nil up is a different story, isn't it? Like, mm. if you dacker and lose players and get turned over, it's whatever. Yeah. Mate, watching Kemri try and score quickly is one of the most hilarious things to do in Blood Bowl. Yeah, plus there was like, the rock, right? The rock made it like, weaker and made it easier for him to go down, but he, he had set up to go down. I think he probably should have set up, like, you know, more cautiously with the option of, of two turning or dacker. Yeah, I reckon and, Jimmy would have still dacker too. Oh, mate, Maybe. that PC song. All we hear is Jimmy <laughs> doing the taka. And he says it weird, doesn't he? He goes, doing the taka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, it's great. I probably would have taken just because he's got double double palm, right? So I would have probably I would have probably wanted to stall it in terms of just limiting damage rather than as the best decision to win the game because I would have thought I would have won. Honestly, like this would have been... And not the best strategy to win the game, but just the best strategy to preserve team is why I would have ducked yeah. against Win Chalice. Wow. Yeah, win Chalice, yeah. I would, I would have thought the this age game's over. old question of Chalice equity versus game equity. Mm, indeed, indeed. And even even match equity, like, you know, if you if you, if you you try and brute force it, you know. Again, I often think of PCs over time drive versus Dave or, you know, like there's, if, the, if that's an eight turn half, if that isn't sudden death, there's no way a PC plays it the way he played it, you know. Yeah, so, of so you know, like if, well, you can get yourself into trouble playing like that. That's the thing. So uh, it, it's not it's not a hundred percent a good thing to uh, try and bang hey, it into. Any time you log into Blood Bowl Two, you can get yourself in trouble, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Only if you actually start a game, though. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't logged in for a while. Mm -hmm. I might log in tonight, Jim. Oof. 
I'm not do going it. to. Don't, don't worry, he won't. Uh, no, I'm, I'm making shirts check for one. I'm not even lying. I'm like, <laughs> that's, like asking, that's like asking Jim to log into friggin' Among Us. <laughs> oh, oh, could we? we, we could, yeah, we'll have an we? Among Us game. We'll have an Among Us game soon. Maybe this weekend. Can I? Maybe this weekend. Oh, boo. Said, Jim said that's a bunch of bullshit, dude. Don't Let's believe Let's do it tonight, Jim. It's like, oh, you said there's three replays. We've done two. Come on. We've paid our penance. <laughs> What's a penance? Uh, I don't know, really. I, I, it just sounded cool. What about Paul Ince? Oh, he was good at football, yeah. He was, wasn't he? He wasn't Stan Collymore. He wasn't, no. Very few people are Stan Collymore. Stan Collymore could have been brilliant, couldn't he, if he wasn't a cunt? <laughs> I mean, he was a massive scene, yes. Mm. And uh, sorry, YouTube. And uh, we do apologise for the language used in this broadcast. <laughs> um, please, Jim, refrain. <laughs> Thank you, Dimmy. I do apologise. Yep, that was bad of me. But, you know. Words expressed in this stream are not supported by the rebel admin community. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. <laughs> All I had to say was thank you. I'm dropping the C bomb. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. I mean, there's obviously actually a lot worse than uh, Stan Collymore, unfortunately. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he could have been an unbelievable player, couldn't he? But he was—he was he was, he like, was he was good for a was, while. He was really good. He was—he was still really good, but he could have been like he could have been world class, probably. Uh, but he was a bit of a sea nut. And uh, thank you very much, Ansi, for staying like fantastic for 33 glorious months, which is about how long he survived. Is 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 an absolute shitter in <laughs> in Battle Brothers. So that's lovely to see. <laughs> Oh, are you still playing it? Are you? Mm. Oh, are you doing the all range thing? How did that yeah. go? Yeah, it's the going all range well team now. is amazing, Jimmy. Except none of them have ranged weapons. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Jim to a T. That is. Uh... <laughs> they do have ranged weapons now. Oh, meta! <laughs> I can't do it. I can't... The spreadsheet says no. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Look at that, a Kaz. We're watching the game. What is it though? What is it? It's only a Why wrestle. Not? And yeah. it's not even it's not even hurt. Mankies is a solid contendent. Uh, a contendent? Contestant contendent? for this uh, yeah. Contender. He could have been a contender. Collymore was the best player on the pitch. What year was that? Often. That must often. have been that must have been nineties. Yeah, yeah, nineties. Like Early you say 90s, that, was... Jimmy, like the 90s was fucking 300 years ago. If it that is, had to be the 90s, PC, like, it my God, is, how old mate. are you? Mate, Just like, I get, three years old, I, get Jimmy. People, I get people going, oh, I want to add this person to my um, car insurance policy. And I'm like, when were they born? They're like 2005. And I'm like, what? They're old <laughs> enough to drive? And I'm like, oh, yes, they are. <laughs> 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 I'm like, how is someone born in 2005 old enough to drive? That's. BS. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But they are like oh, they're like they're like six years old. How can they drive? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In my head, in my head, I'm like, are they two? Especially when Jimmy's not allowed to drive and hasn't driven a vehicle in, in what seven, eight years, Jim? Well, I I would rather drink than drive, to be honest. So <laughs> that's jokes why I, on you. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Pina Colada. Do you like pina colada? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't Henry Bergkamp. It was Dennis Bergkamp, did. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Ber uh, Bergkamp. Henri played into the early 2000s. He was uh, the Invincibles, which I believe was 2004. But oh, PC will correct me. But I, I, I think it was 2004 was the Invincibles. I, 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 cr I cracked myself up with that. Sorry. I cracked myself up. <laughs> it was Dennis Bergkamp, not Henry Berg. Sorry. Mate, the goal, yeah, the Dennis Bergkamp get goal against goal, Newcastle sorry. is so vivid in my mind. It's mm. like. What about his one versus Leicester and, and his World Cup one? I didn't. I I don't remember that one. Oh, really the one versus Leicester was incredible. It was like Mate, the World uh, Cup goal. So, so when he scored in the World Cup, the commentator said Shades of Leicester City, which was like what the, the worst commentary you could ever get for like one of the best goals ever scored. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about the World Cup goal against Argentina, where he like controlled it like from a 60 foot ball yeah. over the right shoulder and then just banged it in on like the volley? Yeah, yeah. yeah that was insane, mate. Yeah. yeah it was. Like, how good was he for his time? Like, 
<clears throat> He's probably as good as that uh, Man City striker now, but mm. 20 years ago. Mm, it's funny, isn't it? Mate, it's amazing like how insane footballers are now. But they, they're definitely not worth the money they get paid. 100%. Well, it is what it is, isn't it? Supply and demand. Well, like American footballers, isn't it? They, they get paid stupid. Like, like American footballers, like they put their body on the line and stuff. But um, yeah, no one deserves to be paid that much money. Well, supply and demand, me. Yet here we are. Mm. This is obviously no demand for Dimmy G. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know well, how do you define this? Yeah, Dimmy, I, I have, in all fairness, offered oh. you money to play Get Over It. You didn't want to go for it. Oh, mate, I'll, I'll pay you a fiver if you watch my stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to ban fucking around. I'm sorry, Jim. That, yeah, that... That's, you're wrong. You're wrong. Well, it depends. It depends on the rest oh, of the I've already team and everything. Jim. I've, I've it already depends banned on the rest of the team and everything. It, it, doesn't, it? it doesn't, Jim. He's gone. Like, and I, I like you have to unban him because I'm not. I'm not <laughs> That is crimes against Beto Arsenal. will never get the answer that he was looking for now. Oh, good. I'm glad you did it, Jim, because I was not going to let him back. <laughs> that, that is blasphemy at the highest level. Hmm. I'm 44. Well, you could have just put I'm a moron. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, good. I, like, no, to be fair, Drogba was brilliant. Drogba like, was great, yeah. Yeah, but I just hated him because he was always, like, on the left side, like, cheating and, um, you know, I mean, just winding people up. And he he always did outrageously good against Arsenal. As well. Yeah, and at the end of the day, if he's a Chelsea fan, then of course he's going to say that. And, like, a Man U fan would rather have Cantona and stuff, wouldn't they? I mean, of course it's going to be. I mean, Cantona like, was pretty special. Like, was pretty I, special, was an, yeah. I was in a Man U fan, but I loved Eric Cantona. Yeah, and so was Henri, and, like, so was Drogba. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, they're all pretty I love Zola. I love Zola as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Right, here we go. There's three turns left for Leek to, to turn, turn over Mankiz and score. Mankiz is down to a very few players here. Uh, eight players. Now we'll see a Dakar, maybe. Yeah, like maybe. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is a sort of, like, why didn't he Dakar in the first place? But yeah, three, mm. the three turn count score with Kemri. I mean, like, if I was Mankiz, I'd be a little bit nervous, but not massively nervous. And it'll be interesting whether he holds the high line or whether he just retreats fully back. I, I think mm. the high line is probably the correct play. Yeah, then but... you've got space to drop back into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Mankis has to put his uh, ball carrier into scoring position, which might mean you can blitz him. Mm. And as I said earlier in the in the cast, that the Tomb Guardians are absolutely useless because they're so slow. Um, yeah. And will we'll be, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know you've got Shearer for Newcastle fans, right? And like, uh... I mean, Shearer's an England hero, so like, I think he transcends. Uh, but but still, Newcastle. you could you could imagine you could imagine an Arsenal fan wanting Henry rather than Henry, <laughs> Henri rather than Shearer, right? And you could imagine a Henri is better than Shearer, like, and I, that's not as an Arsenal fan. That's just as a person who's watched. Football, but there you go. Like... But you could also imagine a Newcastle fan would rather have Shearer than Henri, wouldn't you? Right, that's what I'm saying. So like no, all of these. No, yeah. no, I can't, I can't, because Omri <laughs> is probably the best player that's ever played in the Premiership from the history of the Premiership. Yes, he probably is, but you can understand. Uh, like the only, <laughs> the only person I would pick over Omri is Cristiano Ronaldo, and that mm. he's a completely different player. Like, if you, if I went in an out and out goal scorer. I can't think of anyone better than Omri. And that's not as an Arsenal like as an I am an Arsenal fan, but like yes, Would you want Harry, Harry Kane? No, but if you're a, you can understand like a oh, Tottenham I can't, fan I can't, saying I can't. I can't. Kane and it. you can understand a no, Man U no, fan saying Van Nistelrooy and you could no. and you, of course you can. Of course you can. No, I, I can't I can't Of course Jim. you can. Honestly. Of course you can. You basically like say Omri something isn't like that far ahead. Like he's just not right. He's not, Omri he's not is Pelé. probably the best player that's ever played in the Premiership, other than Cristiano Ronaldo, in my opinion. But he's not head and shoulders over everybody else. He's just not. 
He's pretty high. But he's not he's not completely on another level to everyone else. Like I guess ahead. that 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 new Man he City really geezer a new Man City geezer might well um change it. He might, yeah. But yeah. He he has to prove himself, whereas Omri's got nothing left to prove. No indeed. Well, the good part is soccer is only what, like the number five most popular sport in the world, so no, nobody it's else one. is having the same discussion, you know? It's number one, Jack Paul. I mean, at the end of the day, you, it you, don't, be you don't get to count Americans ten times. <laughs> it should be UFC, because when you're discussing who's the best, you're like, well, he knocked him out. <laughs> like, so, there's no, <laughs> there's no debate. <laughs> Holy shit, mute the Texan. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till Dado gets in another one of my one shots. <laughs> he won't be a god of war again. <laughs> no, he will not. <laughs> gets the pickup. And yeah, just another line. Oh, okay, he's, he's going forward. Interesting. I would have like had the ball back, but like still had a high line. Interestingly, he's brought the ball forward. Oh! Fudge Oof. me. Fudge me, guys. Oof. Oh. Uh, interesting line. Mm. Interestingly. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that because that's just too hard. But, like, he could have dodged off and snaked because he rolled a double skull. Like, so yeah. it's... But, like, obviously you can't think of blood bowl like that. But... Fudge me, guys. Fudge me. Flip me. Well, it's looking okay. pretty tricky, isn't it? But he, I mean, I guess by going up, by moving upfield here, like, okay, it made it a little bit more dangerous in terms of maybe he's getting hit, but now it makes the punt a lot better, doesn't it, if you can dodge through and punt. Right, yeah, and he's he's avoiding the tackle as well, which is... He's got to do the dodge, right? One, two, three. He's got to be, Is it double GFI to one D it with uh, tackle? And then, One, two, and three, then four, what? Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then what? Do you know what I mean? You're not picking it up. And then like, what? So, oh, plus it's it? a dodge off. It's a dodge off diving tackle as well. Oof. Oh, oh. So maybe you well, don't I mean, dodge. It... Maybe you don't dodge. Maybe you just blitz this guy and try and put pressure on for the next turn. Yeah, blitz for him yeah. base, maybe. Yeah, that's mm. what he's doing. Mm. It sucks, but like dodging off diving tackle is fucking horrible, isn't it? Mm. Didn't even die. Normally they die on the last turn before the next game. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah usually. Needs to tag this Witch Alpha somehow or get something around somehow. Ooh, double GFI. I wonder if what just one was better here. Oh, hit the sidestepper. I think, oh, so, yeah, I don't like the hit on the sidestepper. Like, obviously, he, had, he wanted to have power him and that, and probably felt he had to power him. Oh, okay, so he blocks it off there. Interesting. Interesting conundrum for Mankiz here. How does he solve this? He could just hide in the corner. Run out of reach, isn't it? No, he hides in the corner. That was the, like, easy solution, wasn't it? And everything else is a bit tricky, so I think that's fine. Ooh. <laughs> Use the last reroll to win in normal time. Interesting. So I, I like that how the leap for dark elves is just like a. Let's see that like just a simple. But if he if he slips and falls, he does a full friggin' front flip like Jimmy G playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yep. Oh, Daedal, if only you'd been born, like, you know, 20 years earlier and you could have had Nottingham Forest winning the Champions League and stuff on the Champions Cup, I guess, whatever. whatever it is. Yeah, Daedal, if only you were cool. Yeah, if only you were cool. I'm at least 30 years older. <laughs> anyway, um... There you go. Dimmy was right. It was an easy win for the Dells. Uh, good, good, good defense from Leet, though. Like, he really made Mankis work for it, didn't he? You know, spirited till the end. Really gave his all. Uh, gave 110%. Try to play good. Want to play good. And I think they played pretty good today. Thank you very much, Dimmy G and Jack Bull. Fantastic having you on there. Yeah, cheers, Jim. Glorious. Oh, Why, hey, man? Why, hey, man? <laughs>
<laughs> where's me lucky charms? <laughs> oh, where's me lucky charms, mate? You know that tree. He obviously, obviously ended the YouTube video before he I did that. I know, actually. I know too. I oh, haven't. <laughs> and commiserations to Leet. Congratulations to Mankiss. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>